Let's say you feel awful and your doctor prescribes antibiotics. If you feel better after a day or two, do you really have to finish the pills? We've got the answer that will banish your bug. When I was little, an antibiotic called amoxicillin cured my strep throat. Back then, I had no idea that surgeons use antibiotics to prevent infections or that farmers use them to keep our food supply healthy. Antibiotic means against life. We're talking molecules that kill bacteria. Chemists have been part of the antibiotic scene from the beginning. They helped isolate penicillin from mold just in time to help soldiers during World War II. They figured out how to mass produce enough antibiotics for anyone who needs them. And they've been making changes to antibiotics structures so that they'll stay effective and kill more types of bacteria. That last point is important because bacteria are constantly outsmarting us. It starts with a few mutant bacteria that chew up or resist antibiotics. Over time, the pills become useless. Not scaring you yet? Well, listen to this. The World Health Organization says that the pipeline of new antibiotics is running dry. Many of our oldest antibiotics don't even work anymore. Since 2000, just two new types of antibiotics have made it to market. That's why you should finish your antibiotics when your doctor asks you to. You might feel better before the pills are gone. But if you don't kill all the bacteria in your system, the leftover microbes might strike back in a form we can't even treat. Another problem is that we've been careless with antibiotics. Some big farms are abusing them to fatten up cattle. Ordinary folks are taking antibiotics when they don't need them. You can help. Don't ask your doctor for antibiotics if you have a cold or the flu. Those are caused by viruses and antibiotics won't help. We need antibiotics to preserve the world as we know it. Before antibiotics, my strep throat could have caused permanent damage to my kidneys or my heart but it was easily treated with cheap antibiotics. So I'm just glad my parents made me finish all those pills. That's Speaking of Chemistry. Find out more at speakingofchemistry.org. Speak your mind down below and don't forget to subscribe and share. P.S. Antibiotics are just one kind of medicine that chemistry makes possible. Want to learn about cutting edge drug discovery? Attend a free conference online from CNN. Watch live on September 24th or see the archive talks after that until the end of 2014. Sign up at cenmag symposium.